synchrotron light for experimental science and applications in the Middle East Sesame. The synchrotron light for experimental science and applications in the Middle East is an independent laboratory located in Allen in the Balka Govern Orate of Jordan. Created under the auspices of UNESCO on May 30, 2002. Its central facilities aimed at promoting peace between Middle Eastern countries. Jordan was chosen as the location for the laboratory. As it was then the only country that maintained diplomatic relations with all the other founding members, Bahrain, Cyprus, Egypt, Iran, Israel, Pakistan, the Palestinian Authority, and Turkey. It is the only synchrotron radiation facility in the Middle East and is one of around 60 in the world. In a synchrotron, bunches of charged particles, electrons, circulate at nearly the speed of light for several hours inside a tube under vacuum. As magnets surrounding the tube bend their trajectories, the electrons emit synchrotron light, with wavelengths that range from infrared radiation to X-rays. The emitted light is collected by different beam lines connected to the storage ring. Beam lines contain the optical elements that select and focus certain wavelengths of the synchrotron light on materials that scientists wish to study, as well as the setup for controlling the sample's environment and for data collection. Each beam line is designed to produce light with characteristics that are suited for a specific type of research. Synchrotron light beam lines provide one of the most powerful and advanced tools available in modern science for research. Covering a wide range of disciplines ranging from material science and engineering to medicine, cultural heritage, healthcare and the environment, as well as fundamental understanding in physics and chemistry. They are also the physical area within the experimental hall where the scientists visiting Sesame, referred to as users, carry out their experiments. They are the workplace where the users, often with diverse cultural, political and religious backgrounds, interact on scientific issues and through this build cross-border scientific collaboration, dialogue and understanding.